Hi, my name is Chris Schaefer with Paid Search Podcast, and today we are talking about writing ads for Google Ads. In previous videos, we talked about setting up a new campaign and the, and the specific settings that you need, and so now we're picking up on where we left off, and we're going to write a few ads for our new campaign. So for this one, what we're going to do is choose nursing home. We're going to write some ads for nursing home. Now there's a few things to consider when you're writing ads in, in Google ads. How can you choose the right ad? Well, the truth is you can't choose the right ad. You don't know what ad is uh, going to be best for the people seeing your advertisements on Google. You don't know if they're going to respond to one message versus another. So the solution is actually to write a bunch of ads. And luckily, Google has a system built in so that you can write two, three, four, five different ads, and it will rotate those ads and choose the best one. So today we're going to write different ads based on different ways to attract people to click. So let's get started. The first thing that you do is click on an ad group and then click ads and extensions and make sure you're in the ads tab. So if you don't have any ads written yet, you should see create ad as we do here. So we click and we want to create a text ad and we're presented with three headlines, two descriptions and a final URL. So of course, what we're doing in this video is we're building a fictional campaign for a fictional nursing home client. Uh, go back to the paid search podcast episodes where we do a nursing home build and we discuss the details on that. So for the purpose of these ads, we're just going to go with paid search podcast as the URL. So just going to paste that in there for now. And let's start with headline one. So the way that the headlines work is we get three. And for our first ad, I have them all copied over here. So our, our pre-written over here, so I'm just gonna paste them in. For our first ad, what we're gonna do is gonna go with some core basics. I'm gonna go with just plain Jane, core uh, basics of repeating the keyword. So the keywords in this ad group is nursing home. Okay, that's the keyword that we're using to base these ads on. So I want to make sure I use nursing home in the headline one, which is the very first thing they see. Next, let's choose a call to action. A call to action is something that tells them this is what you can do once you click. You're asking them to take action. So the action I want is I want them to book a tour. Okay, so I simply write that out. Next, let's choose something that is an attribute of the facility that we're advertising. So let's go with headline three, wheelchair accessible. Okay, so that is definitely something important for a nursing home. Um, could be a question that someone has. They have a loved one that needs that. So we put that in the third headline. All right, so now we're presented with descriptions. Descriptions have a lot more, three times the amount of uh, characters that can be used. So uh, in this, we can use a couple different tactics. What I usually like to do is, uh, you know, have some type of description uh, written out in plain English that is uh, describing what uh, is important or what we want them to do. So we're going with a plain Jane type of ad this time. So we're going to go with schedule a tour of our new nursing home facility in North Dallas. Um, now we're, we have an option to put another description in here, which I always recommend using as many descriptions and content as you possibly can. Uh, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a much more uh, specific uh, type of ad and this one's actually going to use some specifics about the facility itself large outdoor gardens with quiet walking area limited rooms available now it's important 
that you see that I have an exclamation point. Exclamation points are allowed if you use them in the description, but you can't use them in both descriptions. So I can't put an exclamation point here and there. It could end up getting the ad disapproved due to excessive punctuation. So use them sparingly and use them in a way that is more effective. And this you can see here in the example that uh, limited rooms available, exclamation point. So it's kind of a hurry by now type of language. So that's, uh, that's our first ad. Very straightforward. Um, let's save and add another. Okay, so this is important in creating ads uh, is creating different versions and different ways that we're going to message this uh, content to the people that are searching. So let's erase everything. Let's start brand new. This next one, I want to be a bit more modular in the way that I approach it. So I'm going to use dashes. So nursing home dash Dallas. You can see the way that it looks here. And then next, I want to push a call to action here. Rooms available today. And last, I want to make an emotional uh, call in this one. So I don't want to be quite as plain Jane as I was before. Uh, I want to try for an emotional push. So instead of an attribute talking about, if you remember the last one, wheelchair accessible, this one I'm going to say care for your loved ones, right? That's an emotional push to get them to click. Oh, you know, I want to connect them, uh, connect with them, not on a practical basis, but more on a emotional basis. Okay. And, um, so next, because I'm going with more of an emotional basis, I'm going to do that same kind of thing on the description. I'm going to say, speak with one of our caring staff members to learn more about pricing options. So caring staff members, um, that's a little bit of an emotional pull there. Okay. And then last, I'll grab something that has a bit of a call to action. Choose a nursing home that cares call today to schedule a tour. So one thing I haven't talked about since uh, we've got our second ad written here is the path. So path, we, you see we have a path one and path two. So what we can do is we can actually write some additional descriptive information that shows after the URL. So what I might write is nursing home. Okay, you see I have 15 characters. I can put that there. There's a lot that you can do here. You could actually capitalize nursing and then put a dash home like that. Uh, you could do a underscore like that, or uh, you could put anything you want, really. You could put uh, Dallas, and then on the next one, nursing home. Anything you can get away with here and not uh, spark any type of issues with the ad policy is per perfectly acceptable. If you want to try something you know, a little different, something that calls action to that, and you can see the way that it looks here. This is what the ad would look like. And if you click the arrow here, you can see what it would look like on a desktop. So this is ad number two. We will save and add another. So again, let's go back. Let's erase these and let's start all over again. So we've done a plain Jane vanilla. We've done a, an emotional call. And so now let's do something that is a little different. This is a our fictional client that we're writing ads for is a new nursing home. They've recently built it in the past couple of years. It's new, updated. Um, so let's try a spin related to that. Um, so what we do is do beautiful new nursing home, download a brochure. I have not put anything about Dallas in here yet, so maybe I want to try that. But you notice these others have Dallas right in the first headline. So maybe this one instead, I don't want to do Dallas. I want to try something 
uh, a little more specific. So downloaded brochure, large private rooms. You could even add C our large private rooms, something like that. So you have a lot of room. Feel free to use up as much as you want, but you don't have to. You can be short and sweet uh, with your ad copy as much as you like. Now, next on the description, let's... Uh, I don't place quite as much attention on the description as I do with the headlines. A lot of times I'll rotate the, you know, a couple different call to actions or descriptions that I kind of pre-write and I'll use them interchangeably with the ads. But I think one of the, the areas that people pay the most attention to is your headline. That's what is the largest. It's blue. It's a different color. You can see on a phone, it really stands out. So if you're going to put attention in something, if something is the most important, always make sure that it goes in the headline. Okay, so it's going to ask us to create extensions, but we're not going to go through that on this one. So let's skip that and let's talk about how to add ads if you already have some. So we have a few in here that we've already added. Let's add one more. Well, let's, let's go back and see. So let's kind of reassess where we were. We have North Dallas, nursing home, book a tour, wheelchair accessible. Beautiful new nursing home, down, downloaded brochure, large private rooms. Nursing home dash Dallas, rooms available today, care for your loved ones. So in that case, let's try one more. And you click the plus here and then click text add. And it will bring up something that basically duplicates, duplicates what you've had before. But let's remove that and start fresh again. And for this last one, what I want to do is I want to try uh, something that is nursing home in Dallas. Right? So that's a different type of language, still using the Dallas. Um, let's do a different type of call to action schedule a personal tour, All right? And then lastly, licensed medical staff. So this is one of the first times we've really used the medical angle. Um, what you might want to do is create an additional ad that had the medical angle in the headline two instead of the headline three. You might want to duplicate uh, that. So that's a possibility. Since we're using medical staff, let's grab this one, speak with one of our caring staff members to learn more. And then one last little push here, large outdoor gardens, quiet walking area. Okay, so there is our fourth ad. So we can save, and of course it takes us back to the ad extensions, which we are not talking about. So let's let all this reload. And now we have four very different ads. And so let's talk about what we have here. Um, when you see these ads, they are not exactly the same. They don't all say nursing home Dallas. These two say nursing home dash Dallas, nursing home in Dallas, North Dallas nursing home, beautiful new nursing home. You can see there's Dallas isn't even in this one. So the idea is to create some diversity and variance between these ads because as we talked about, you cannot choose the winning ad. You do not have the means to know what people are going to click. So for that reason, you need to create some differences between these ads, different call to action, emotional pulls, uh, attributes, talking about your facility in this case, or if you have a product, whatever your product dimensions, uh, uh, you know, advantages are, specifics about your product uh, or service. So in this case, that's, uh, that's how we communicate the messaging of a local nursing home and uh, how we can attract people to click. And the step from here, once you've written these and you've let these run and receive 
some impressions and clicks and you see over here in the call to or the click through rate column you'll see percentages and you'll decide well this ad let's say this bottom ad gets a much better click through rate so what you do is that one's the winner so you might pause this one you might pause this ad because it's the lowest click through rate and you decide you don't want to run that one anymore you want to replace it with another one so you would go in write another ad that is a lot like this one but different instead of schedule a personal tour maybe you have a different call to action test that for a little while and see how it does against the others so that's the idea of progressing and improving and testing your ads against your keywords to see what is most successful my name is chris schaefer with paid search podcast thank you for watching please check out our main show paidsearchpodcast.com where you can see tons and tons hours and hours of us talking about this type of stuff jason rothman and i are both ppc professionals we work all day day in and day out in google ads this is our daily life and if you found this to be an advantage for you something that you you find useful check us out i think you will like our podcast as well